In this quick video, we're going to look at Salesforce email relay settings. Let's first navigate to the email relay setup page. You can find this by searching setup for re relay, the word relay. Here, you can create an email relay. In the host section, here you can enter an MX record or a unique host. Uh, if you use an MX record, this creates redundancy as our MTAs will rotate around any host listed in the MX record if one of your hosts is down, or you can just specify a single host. Let's enter one. In the next section, you can specify uh, the port for TLS settings. There are a variety of ports. 25 is most commonly one used. In the next area, you can select a port and the TLS setting you desire. Required Verify is the strictest setting. It checks all aspects of the handoff of TLS and the certificates on both sides. If you use this setting, if TLS cannot be negotiated, email will not deliver. That's the only downside of this. But we recommend the use the most restrictive setting you can. Uh, TLS Preferred allows delivery if uh, TLS is not handed off. That is known as opportunistic TLS in, in uh, the email world. Uh, that's the least restrictive setting. Once you have created your email relay, the routing will not work. Uh, you still need another step to complete it. Here, uh, we need to go to the filter for recipients and senders domain link. This can be found at the top of the page. And here, we can create a filter for your email relay to route the mail and make it work. You can create multiple email relays in the previous pages and relate them to multiple filters so you have some flexibility here. When you create the email filter the default setting is to send email from all of your user domains to all recipients domain. That's all mail. So in this screen let's select a relay, activate it and then let's save it. That's shown by the wildcard. The all domains are shown by the wildcard. You can specify domains in there. After setting up e email relay, it's a good idea to navigate to the email deliverability test section in setup and do an email deliverability test to an email address. Once on this screen, you can specify any email address. Using email relay, we will only send uh, two emails as the test, one from our email relay server that you, you just set up, and one from the MTA that sends system emails such as passwords uh, and verification emails. They're not, not sent from the relay server. Once you've specified the address uh, to send the email to, send it. After you receive the email, one good idea is to check the headers of the email that you receive just to see what's going off. In the headers we do add some useful information. They're the x-sfdc headers. In here you can see the organization ID, the user ID, uh, the TLS settings, and the host that we sent to, and more interesting stuff. These can be used if you're creating access control lists or filters on your MTA to filter on also as they are useful in the headers. After you've set everything up, it's a good idea if you need to create access control lists to refer to our knowledge base article, what are Salesforce IP addresses and domains to whitelist. At the bottom of this list are the email relay IPs way at the bottom. Uh, Please check those and whitelist them all, please. That's a best practice. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please visit the Salesforce Help Portal, where you can find great resources, including communities, documentation, trails, or you can also contact customer support. Happy trailblazing!